I'm now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Spring Mills football, Marcus Law. Coach Law, got to start with the obvious. Earlier this week, it was announced that your team has been docked four victories due to a uh, use of an ineligible player. Just first off, I guess, uh, your thoughts on the situation? Um, hurt. I mean, I, I said, you know, you just saying, say hurt, hurt for the kids. Um, but I mean, they ruined the way they did, and unfortunately, and that's that's where we are. Um, really, nothing else to say on that matter. I know there's a lot of unknowns around the matter. What are you, I guess, at this time allowed to share about the situation? It's still ongoing. Nothing else I can say on it. Okay, so we will then change focuses. Uh, on last week, you guys were able to get a victory 37 nothing against Parkersburg South. Just walk us through that game. Um, honestly, Parkersburg, very physical team. We thought they would come in um, and try to expose a little bit of willpower there. Um, defensively, again, another team that tried to put the best team together there. They did some things early on that kind of really forced us to take the easier routes and things. Um, they did a great job of keeping routes and stuff in front of them. Um, I thought offensively, once they kind of figure out a little routine, they were actually able to get the ball moving and, and find a few things, especially on uh, a couple of particular sides doing some certain drives there. Um, but overall, Tanner, he's done a wonderful job with those guys down there and a lot of respect for him. On the offensive side of the ball, you guys really scored uh, most of your points within that first half and then in the second half switched over and allowed a lot of the uh, second string the opportunity to go out so we'll start off in the first half what did you see from uh those guys and then we'll go over into the second half okay uh first half um at least offensively you know we we kind of won the game plan with max um really trying to keep him in the pocket forcing him to see the things that he's getting there as opposed to some of the things he's done such as running taking off the ball and it's just again one more opportunity for us to kind of fine tune a little bit of our offense uh, we did a couple things a little bit different from what we know we've done but uh, our guys held that part particularly well. Uh, when you look at the second half of the game, we got Ron in that quarterback a little bit for us. And, um, again, this is this was truly probably the most amount of minutes he's played for us all year. And it was one of those things is trying to get him as much experience as we possibly could. And so it was good to see him be in some run situations, about having pass down situations. And there were some things he did good and some things that we, we look at and say, all right, this is what we're going to focus on this week to uh, try to get him a better feel for the game right now. But as always, defensively, those boys came out and played their hearts out. Um, Super proud of them. Even when we put some of the younger guys in there, we didn't see too much of a fall off there as far as at least the way they pursued and and got to the football. And um, and again, special teams did well for us. We we got very proud of Lokai and uh, Keelan and Travis, our uh, long snapper there. I uh, got a field goal in this week, so that was good to see as well. Switch over to the defensive side of things. You guys dominate once again, uh, pitching a shutout for the seventh time on the field this year. Just talk about the strength of this defense and just how special of a year it's been for them. No, yeah, I mean, I definitely start with our guys up front. I mean, you got Prophet, Abel, and, and Xavier there. Um, very, very talented kids, and they're able to do a lot of the things to man double team, especially when we're in that off front there, and it kind of frees up our secondary and our linebackers to really just be kind of ball hawks and riding to the ball. So a lot of things that we do, it really starts up front with those guys there. Um, and then, again, we, we were able to kind of rotate some different guys into into the game as well. So, just again, just try and get more guys from playing time as we head off into the playoffs. Just give a uh, guess – Credit to your coaching staff as well on the defensive side of things and how they are able to have your guys so well prepared to execute uh, to perfection seemingly throughout this year. Oh, yeah. Well, I've said a lot, man. Coach Hesson and Coach Adams, uh, Coach uh, Rodney Black, those guys do a good job week in and week out. Just the preparation they, they put these guys through. And, and a lot of it, you know, you look at it as just – being able to line up to the ball, being able to line up right spot, getting the calls, and those guys do a great job with that and then getting that stuff instilled into our players where they're able to echo and give everyone the same set. And now looking ahead, final game of the regular season, you guys will head to Hedgesville for that mm-hmm. contest. Uh, big rivalry 
in the area as well. And just tell us a little bit about the excitement heading into uh, this matchup and what it brings. Oh, oh man, really? When you said it off to get go, uh, just a robbery amongst our two schools. And I mean, the last couple of years, it was very physical, um, regardless of score, who was doing what. Um, the games kind of came down to the wire a little bit. Uh, we definitely look forward to getting out there. Um, they've done some things uh, defensively, I think, again, pretty well um, offensively. They've done several different schemes that they, they kind of switch in and out, which could be challenging if you're not ready for just a little bit of everything. What stands out uh, to you also about this Hedgesville team? Well, they got a couple of kids. I mean, also the fair call kid, he plays multiple positions, offense, defensively, um, at least throughout the season there. Uh, I think their quarterback, he's long, lengthy. He can get the ball just about anywhere he wants to. And they got a couple of guys, skilled kids, that can get out there and make some plays happen for him. What do you feel like do you guys need to uh, do to come out with the win? Um, defensively, we got to be able to align to the various formations they have. Um, I, and then they'll jump anything from wing tee to spread. So that puts a little bit of stress of being able to make sure we're aligned correctly and at the same time being able to adjust and make those corrections during the game time. So if we're able to um, – um, be lined up correctly, get our calls in, uh, get 11 guys to the ball, doing the right thing offensively. We should be able to um, come out and, uh, and get the recalls that we want. And looking at this game now, by a technicality, unfortunately, given the situation of uh, having mm-hmm. to forfeit games, your team sits at 4-5. and five, So even though you're 8-1 and one on the field, by rule, mm-hmm. this gives you the uh, chance to – become a 500 team and go from there of maybe at best getting the eighth seed when you look at things i don't know how it's possible because i haven't played the numbers game with that but uh, i I guess how do you make sure though that you just stay at the task at hand and don't worry about everything you can't control given the situation (laughs) That's our kids, man. I mean, we look back at the beginning of the season. You know, we start the season off. Most people forget. I mean, we, we lost a teammate. You know, these guys had to start the season off with one of their teammates, unfortunately, passing an event this summer. And so we were able to collect ourselves, do that, and rally and, and do the things we did. And obviously now you're fighting through the, another set of adversities. These kids are resilient. And that's the one thing we saw through practice day and yesterday. They came out here and they took care of business the way that we've always done and so I, I look forward to these guys getting out there. Um, they want to be on the football field and, and, and get back to the things that we were doing. And I know I asked you earlier about the situation, and it's still a ongoing process, and this mm-hmm. might be unfair to ask you uh, for this situation as a whole, but as of right now, you're the first person that we've been able to get a hold of uh, to comment about it for uh, the Spring Mills community. And the question, I guess, is uh, just simply put, how how does something uh, along these lines occur, if you're able to answer that? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Um, Like I said, we're still ongoing with this thing, so until it all settles out, we'll we'll go from there. All right, that's fine. Uh, Then just any other thoughts about uh, this week's matchup? If not, we'll get to the fun question. We'll do fun question. All right, fun question. We're changing it up and allowing the uh, coaches to ask a fun question this week. So give me your fun Ooh. question. Um, man, you guys are switching it up this year. <laughs> uh, fun question, fun question. Um, favorite uh, NFL team to follow as a kid? Uh, growing up, Washington Redskins, now Washington Commanders. That is uh, my team, got it from... My mom, who got it from her dad, uh, grown up in Manassas for her big community down there that supported the franchise being so close to D.C., and it it just grew on me ever since through the uh, many downs and the uh, very little, but hopefully now where they are uh, positives to being a fan of Washington, so... Things right. are going well right now, though, ball, so though. It, enjoying it while that lasts. Absolutely. Well, you guys, you guys got a good quarterback, man, so hopefully keep him, uh, keep him healthy there. You guys will be fine. That's always the hope, but at the same time, the scare because of the uh, numerous occasions in the past. Yep. So, I get that. Thank you for the time, Coach. Best yep, of luck against Hedgesville. You.